In today's video, we unbox a massive haul of discount fantasy wargaming miniatures from Rune Wars, a tabletop game of epic battles in an age of heroes. Hey everybody, it's Lee from SkirmishWarGames.com. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to unbox a $107 haul of minis for the Rune Wars miniatures game from Fantasy Flight Games, described as tactical rank and file warfare set in the realm of Terranoth. So uh, not too long ago, Lynn left town for a few days, and while she was gone, I happened to read a Facebook post about how cheap the Rune War corset was getting on Amazon, and then yada yada, one thing led to another, and suddenly there's this big pile of Rune Wars boxes sitting on the card table. So you remember that when you got back, right? Yes. <laughs> it's your fault for leaving town. See? I guess. So other than removing the shrink wrap to reduce the glare from uh, the lights we're using today, we haven't opened any of these boxes yet. But uh, this first stack looks so intriguing that I actually ordered a second round of Rune Wars expansions. And if you'd like to watch that unboxing video as well, it's available for free on skirmishwargames.com. I will put a link in the uh, YouTube video description below in case you're interested. Okay, so as I understand it, this particular incarnation of Rune Wars is actually preceded by a couple of board games named Rune Wars and Runebound. And there might have been a couple different versions of each. And I think you can still get a copy of Runebound today. So Rune Wars the Miniatures game was released by Fantasy Flight Games in 2016 and new expansions were released I think up until at least 2018. Now organized play was discontinued in January of 2019 because quote the numbers simply do not allow us to continue the program. So you can draw your own conclusions what that means for the game but you can still purchase the Rune Wars Miniatures game on the FFG web store as well as from a number of other retailers but the prices appear to be all over the place so I checked today and the Rune Wars core set is $99.95 if you buy it from Fantasy Flight, or you can pick up a copy on Amazon for $44.60, which is what I did. So today we're going to take a look at the Rune Wars core set, along with uh, several expansions, and see how well we did for our $107 investment. Even if we don't play Rune Wars, uh, the idea is to cannibalize these sets and use them for Mordheim, Frostgrave, uh, Song of Blades and Heroes, anything else that uh, comes up where we need some generic fantasy miniatures. So let's crack these boxes open and uh, see how we did. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> you've, you've been waiting to unbox these uh, since they've been sitting here on the card table. That's been a couple of weeks. Okay, so we're going to set these expansions aside. Let's, yeah, let's move these expansions out of the way. We'll get to those in a minute. But I'm going to take a look at the core box here. So this uh, core box... It's kind of interesting. Imagine, for example, that you're at a local game store and you see this on the shelf and it says uh, Rune Wars, miniatures game, miniatures game of epic battles in an age of heroes, game designed by Andrew Fisher, Fantasy Flight Games, a game set in the Runebound universe. What's this all about? Well, we'll flip it over and we'll see. Except the back doesn't tell you diddly squat. It just says a miniatures game of epic battles in an age of heroes, blah, 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 blah. So all the same information. So normally when you'd flip a box over, you'd get uh, some sense of what's actually in the box, but not in this case. And remember, this was shrink wrap, so nothing much here. A little bit here it does tell you uh, what the game contents are. So 48 unpainted plastic figures, some character dioramas, movement trays, templates, command tools, attack dice, range ruler, counters, a bunch of other things. Four terrain pieces. Oh, great. But that's probably 2D terrain. We'll have to see. I guess these miniatures do represent kind of what's in the box. We'll see. We'll verify that when we open it up. So this must be kind of like the uh, Empire versus Undead faction box. And... Okay, well, on this panel, it looks like they do give us a little bit more information. We can see some pictures of the miniatures and a little bit of overview in the text about what the game's all about. But uh, I guess for more details, we'll have to open the box. Okay, packed for freshness. Okay, well, I'm guessing that this is our quick start guide. I don't know if we'll ever actually play Rune Wars, but this game does have some interesting wrinkles, uh, courtesy of FFG, that you may have seen in other games. Like they have their command tool, which has an action dial and a modifier dial. So presumably, if your unit is going to make an action in an upcoming turn, then you pre-program that action into the dial. And uh, 
so everyone kind of makes their move simultaneously. So I'm not sure how that mechanic actually worked or uh, how effective it was, but that's what they did. Then, of course, I think there's special dice and unit cards and all kinds of other things that are pretty typical for FFG games. All right. So that is the... Uh, it's nice that it's in full color. Yeah, it's a nice book. And obviously they put a lot of investment in this. So sad when it doesn't quite make it, but um, anyway... That's just the way it goes, I guess. So, let's see. Rules reference? Okay. I like that. Rules reference. Lore guide. That's the fluff. Yeah, I'll be reading that one. Okay. It looks interesting. Well, the art is great. Yeah. Kudos on the art there. Yeah. They have a faction here which looks an awful lot like Chaos. And uh, when we do the second unboxing, round two... You'll see that it's kind of like a combination of corn and Slanesh and uh, Nurgle all rolled into one. So they kind of have one big aberration faction with mutants and what have you. So we'll get more into that. But uh, all right. Well, I will uh, lay that on you and you can read that at your leisure. And uh oh, we need a knife. Ooh, there's all the command dials. Yeah, all right. What we got? Let's just empty all this nonsense out. Cards. Pieces. And then figures. So if any of you out there played Rune Wars, maybe you can uh, give us some insight in the comments about uh, how the command dial system worked and if you liked it or not. They'll probably never get unpunched. Uh, oh, there's our terrain. So I see uh, movement templates and 2D terrain. So... I mean, it's nice to provide something. There's a pond. I guess you could use a pond. There's nothing yeah, wrong pond with would be good. Nothing wrong with a 2D pond. Yeah, maybe get some utility out of those. What else we got here? Group bases. Movement phrase. Movement phrase. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. And then it looks like the trays actually slot together. There you go. So you can make your units. Oh, different types of movement trays for bigger ones too. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. And this is like... for the really big ones. I made some reference to dioramas, like uh, maybe for heroes and stuff like that. Maybe that's what that's for. And then of course, proprietary dice. <laughs> Actually, I have to say personally, I'm not in love with proprietary dice. I like regular uh, D20s and D6s and all the rest. And then I don't know what these things are, pegs. And then cards. Various game effect cards, looks like. And I'm not sure what these are. More cards. Oh, like uh, this looks like it's terrain stats, a unit card of some type. Okay, so you need cards. That's not that unusual, but there's all kinds of cards. All right, so that is the Rune Wars core set. You didn't do all the figures. Up until we get to look at the figures, which is really uh, what we bought it for. So. so we spent uh, 44 or 60 or whatever it was, and we get about 48 figures. So we'll crack these open and see how we did. Now, first thing I'm noticing, I guess I shouldn't get the pieces mixed up, is there are no sprues. We don't have any sprues. That's kind of what I was expecting was stacks and stacks of sprues have been conditioned as such looks like you just have a little bit of assembly to do but not much which not, I like not a lot the material not the super hard plastic we're used to from games workshop soft not a lot of detailed modeling required stick his torso on stick a shield on and uh, you're good Yeah, they pop together, oops, pretty quick. And just two or three pieces, three pieces, I guess, with the shield. And that's your uh, reanimates. So, yeah, I can always use some generic undead. The spearmen, apparently. So you get a few spearmen, which is good. You want to glue them together, but they pop together pretty quick.
And let's see what else we got. Oh, it looks like spearmint again. So it's another bag of spearmint. And there's more spear. These are spearmint too. Okay. And more spearmint. I think you get the idea. More spearmint. And there's an axe guy. Okay. These are more of the uh, reanimates, I think. Yeah. These aren't too shabby. I mean, you know, they are what they are. Okay. So. 16 reanimates all together, eight with axes, eight with swords. And then, okay, and then another whole big bag here. Oh, fancier stuff. Another gigantic bag of minis. These ones are the bigger, fancier ones, the right, cavalry. see some bowmen. So bowmen, bowmen, bowmen. So he's just two pieces. That reanimate bowman is just two pieces that just pops right together. So you can start to see sort of a philosophical difference between uh, what they're doing here and, say, some other games uh, that might require a heck of a lot more assembly. So, yeah, not too shabby. I've seen worse. I like the cavalry. All right, so there's the cavalry. He just kind of slots in. He's just a three-piece guy. Oath Sworn Cavalry. All right. Did we get a couple of bags or just the one? Just the one of those. Just one bag of cavalry. All right, this must be, maybe, this is maybe a leader diorama. I'm not sure. Oh. Carrion Lancers. So I guess you're riding on a big maggot. All right. Put them together. Yeah, you can do that. Assemble away. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. And these must be the leadership dioramas that they're talking about. So this is... So that might be the leader of uh, the undead faction. Or part of the command group. Is that, are we getting down to the bottom or is that it? That's the last guy. And then this guy looks a lot like, I'm going to take a wild guess that this guy is a golem. So he is the big baddie for probably the empire type team. All right. Did you, oh, you made the big worm, huh? Yeah. He made the carry. It's not a. It's a carrion lancer, not a carrion crawler. So there is the uh, carrion lancer. Yeah. All right. Could be suitably gruesome. So that is the uh, Ruin Wars core set, 4460 on Amazon. I'm not sure it's going to be that way forever, but that's the way it is. When we bought it. So I think these guys are units we've already seen in the core set, but just to give you a sense of what these expansions cost, the um, unit expansion here was $16.70, again on Amazon, and the archers I think were $12.04. And then I think the original retail for these was uh, somewhere between $25 and $35, probably you know, $24.95 or something like that. So, And we'll just take a look and see. And as you can see, most of this box is just air so it's mostly meant for the retail presence and you just get you get eight unpainted figures yeah you get your figures and your cards and your movement trays your movement trays and so eight undead archers about two bucks a piece in the expansion so this reanimate box is going to be very similar to what we saw in the core set so we don't need to crack that open really but this infantry command box should be a little bit different. Some guys who could be kind of frustrated. It looks like an undead wizard there and um, skeleton beating a drum and some other things. So let's open that up. And again, not really much in the actual box. A lot of air. That guy's cool. I like that guy. He's all one piece. And then these other guys, 
again, easy assembly and yeah. I like the drum guy too. The drum guy's pretty cool. Extra game cards. They're upgrade cards. Upgrade cards. The Blighted Vexillium Bearer. Yeah, you get one plastic infantry movement tray, 18 upgrade cards, and then the four figures. This here, seven bucks, seven dollars and 24 cents, something like that. So, I think that was well worth it for those yeah, figures. Yeah, I like them. I like, I like them. those figures. If detailed assembly and all of that is uh, your bag, if that's what you like most about the hobby, this probably isn't for you. But uh, I don't mind if it's uh, expedited. I don't feel cheated if the uh, assembly isn't all that complicated. Let me put it that way. Okay, so this is sort of the uh, mutant slash chaos faction. I'm sure they don't call it that. This faction is actually called the Uthok Yulan, and we'll get into the uh, core set for that in our next unboxing. Yeah, those look awfully like um, some kind of blood god berserkers and some of the other characters in this faction look like they might be diseased and some of the other ones look like they might have uh, crab claws or things like that so but anyway yeah they're kind of chaotic <laughs> I shouldn't be snarky it's a nice looking set and I think we paid for that 13 bucks and you get uh, eight berserkers there's a berserker here's some more and here are the unit cards and the game cards that go along with these guys. Yeah, plus you get a couple more bags of berserkers and then the requisite um, command dials and things like that to play the game. Here's the assembly instructions. Okay, and finally we got a pack of deep wood archers here. Those are the fancy elven archers. Yeah, these are the fancy elven archers, and they were the princely sum of twelve dollars and fifteen cents for eight. eight. So that's not too bad. I like those archers. Those are pretty cool. And not a lot of assembly. You just got to put on an arm and a head. <laughs> yeah. Command dials. Here is the. Um, Assembly instructions. Probably need a little bit of cleanup, but uh, not too bad. Yeah, these guys you just need to stick the arm on. That one there, he needs a head too. Yeah. He looks a little taller because his neck's not fully pressed into his torso yet. So that is our eight deep wood archers. A couple of different poses anyway. Yeah, it looks like three different poses. Yeah. All right, let's take quick stock of how many miniatures we got. We got 44 from the core set. We got another eight from the uh, reanimate expansion. So that's 52, 60, 68, another eight is 76, and then 80. So 80 miniatures for 107 bucks. And they're pretty decent. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's a whole lot of garbage in there. Easy assembly might not appeal to everybody, but uh, the design and the sculpts are pretty good. And um, looks like all the components are there. And certainly a lot of utility if you're looking at uh, miniatures that are elven archers and uh, skeletons and, you know, even these chaos guys and spearmen. I'm not sure how often the uh, Carrion Cavalry will uh, come into play. He rode into battle atop a giant maggot. Atop <laughs> a giant maggot. Actually, that could be the world maggot for Gwar. It could. <laughs> now that I think about it. So, so yeah, you know, I'm not unhappy with that. Uh, I can think of a bunch of things we got coming up that I can use these for. So the uh, trick is always just um, getting them assembled and painted, but the assembly is not that arduous, so it looks pretty good. What do you want to paint? Well, I like the skeletons and I like the archers. Well, I actually, I like most all of them, actually. Yeah. I tried to pick stuff I knew I could use. Probably so. this set first. Oh yeah, but you can't have that guy. That's my special guy is mine. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What? Nothing. <laughs> he better not disappear. That's the reason I got that set. 
Okay, folks. Well, that is our great $107 uh, Rune Wars discount miniature unboxing. Hope you got some ideas out of it. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to follow up this video with a second unboxing. This one kind of focusing on the Uthuk Yulan um, expansion. I think these are kind of the uh, chaos slash uh, zombie slash mutant uh, faction. I don't know that much about them. But yeah, you can probably get a sense of what they're all about by looking at the cover. We also have a couple of expansions that go with these guys and then a couple more uh, boxes of elves. So if you're interested in that, check it out at skirmishwargames.com. In the meantime, if you like what we do here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please give this video a big thumbs up. And of course, please visit us online at our website, skirmishwargames.com.